In 1895, Richard Sears and Alva C. Roebuck, two watch salesmen, started Sears, Roebuck & Company, a mail order company offering a variety of goods to rural consumers. Along with Montgomery Ward & Company, the world's first giant mail order enterprise, Sears helped grow Chicago's mail order retailing industry into a major sector of the American economy. By the beginning of the 20th century, Sears had become the leading mail order company in the country with approximately 9,000 employees and annual revenue sales of $50 million. To accommodate the size of the business, Sears purchased 40 acres of land on Chicago's west side for the company's headquarters and main operations. Over seven decades, Sears enlarged the complex to include a 1 million square foot merchandise building a powerhouse, a printing building, athletic facilities, a radio station, and over nine miles of pneumatic tubing for inter-office communications. These expansions helped make the complex the largest business structure in the United States. By 1969, Sears had approximately 350,000 employees scattered in offices throughout the Chicago area. To consolidate its operations, the company announced on July 27, 1970, that it would construct a new headquarters on the western edge of Chicago's Loop. Immediate space demands and predictions for future growth necessitated an office building of over 3 million square feet. Instead of building horizontally like the original merchandise building, architect Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill proposed a tower with smaller floor plates to yield sufficient square footage. The final tower stood 108 stories above ground, surpassing the height of New York City's World Trade Center to become the world's tallest building. Unfortunately, Sears' fortunes began to decline after moving into their new headquarters. The office space that the company had projected to fill lay vacant for a decade while new retail giants took over the market. In 1992, Sears began moving its offices out of the tower and by 1995 had completely vacated the building. Sears retained naming rights to the tower until 2003, but it was only in 2009 when Willis Group Holdings moved into the building that the building's naming rights were transferred.